Hi, my name is Appaloosa. I'm the owner of Light Body Energetics, and I am a certified biofield tuning practitioner and VFRT vibrational fascia release practitioner as well. I have been using tuning forks for a couple of years now on the body and in the biofield, and I wanted to share with you what I do on quite a regular basis, which is kind of a mix between a lymphatic flush and a tuning fork facial. This is just something that I do that feels good to me. Watch some videos that uh, inspired me to use this into my daily practice, and I just wanna show you what I do. Um, if you do have a tuning fork, this is great for you. You can use anything that you have, which is weighted, which means it has these little uh, tines on the end. If you have a gem foot, that's even better because that is nice to, to slide. This is a 15 millimeter. You can also use a 25 millimeter, which gives you a bigger surface area. If you do not have a gem foot, this you do not want to drag on the skin, but just do point treatment. I will be showing using a sonic slider. This is available on the biofieldtuning.com website, and you can get a handle for it or a boot, which looks like this, but without the gem on the end. The uh, other forks are available on biofieldtuningstore.com um, or biosonics.com, and I should have a link on my website or in the bio. Before you activate your fork, be sure that your skin is moisturized and clean. I put some serum on and I should be good to go. I'm going to start with the chin area. This is really good to release toxins, fluid buildup, and if you're starting to feel like you're getting sick. Any contraindications might be if you have an underlying health condition, you may wanna to talk to your doctor before using tuning forks and the lymphatic system. So activating the fork, we'll just start with the bottom here. Going from under the chin, using pressure. Really, we're just doing what feels good to you. If you find a spot that feels like a knot or feels tender, you can stop there and hold the fork along there. You can do each spot for up to a minute. I will do a little bit of a quicker version for today. And you wanna go until your fork no longer vibrates. I do this every morning, at least on my TMJ area, because I'm a, I'm a clencher, and it immediately melts muscle tension, the sonic slider does. Okay, so after you've done the bottom here, you can go to the back of your head. You have occipital region just above the neck, and it, sometimes it's tender. You can do little circular motions there. And we're going to also be working down along the neck. You have a vagus nerve that runs down the neck as well. So this is a really good way to just calm the nervous system. And just using lymph nodes, just releasing those lymph flows, we're gonna to come to here uh, to the top of the thymus gland. So I'm gonna start on the back of my head and just find any tension spots and do little circles there as it vibrates, moving from the inside to the outside. Feels very nice. And if I find a tension spot, I might hold it there and breathe until the vibration runs out. And then I'm going to just go down the neck a couple of times. People will do this manually with their hands. I've just found that I love the vibration of the forks and the pressure of using a tool is very handy. So I'll do that a couple times on the right side towards the back, and then I'll switch to the left side. It's doing little circles on the base of the head, above the neck. Any spot that has tension, just holding there and letting that release. 
And typically if I have tension spots on my neck, I will hold it uh, and, and do that about three times in one spot. So the turning forks also release nitric oxide in the blood, which increases circulation and blood flow. Okay, so I've done that down my neck here. I'm gonna move on to the face. So you may wanna use some acupuncture, actually acupressure points and hold there. And I'm gonna move my way up from my brow to the top of my head. And I have a lot of tension points here. I uh, am a survivor of chronic pain from car accidents with fibromyalgia. So I get a lot of muscle tension up in here. So I do like to hold the fork in any tension spots that I find and breathe there. Okay, so along the brow line towards the TMJ area. Another side. So it's kind of like a two in one with the vibration and the pressure. So if you do have a smaller jump foot, this is really handy if you're going right into the inside of the brow. And you can work your way along that brow line. And get your crow's feet area. Get some circulation in there. Now you do want to do this with moisturized skin. I do have a serum on and a clean face. If you are going to be dragging at all. You don't want to pull the skin too hard. You want to be gentle with yourself. But those are two techniques you can do, which is just holding until the vibration runs out or pulling the gem foot along the skin there. You can also do the points along the nose and under the eye. Gently. Again, this is just a technique that I've combined with many different other techniques. I always suggest you find videos that work for you and that you like and incorporate the forks however you would like to. Okay, you can also go above the lip here. and below. And really feel that vibration along all of your bones. <laughs> really goes deep to all the cells. And your stomach points here on the cheekbone. Which is used in EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. If anyone is familiar with Donna Eden's daily energy routine, a little bit of an incorporation of that as well. Okay, and then again, working the TMJ area, you can do circles. We're just told. I like to stretch the jaw and do some nice exhales there as I try to focus on releasing the tension in that area. Make sure you do both sides.
I had a chiropractor that would work on my jaw and she'd actually get in there and really work in and I would just tear up because all that tension is just, that's my spot, that's where it's held. So let's go back to towards the front end of the neck here. Lots of lymph nodes in this area. And I just kind of cover all my bases by doing the inside, the outside, and the center. I would like to incorporate something a little bit new, which is trying the earlobe. There's some great and fascinating studies out about the vagus nerve and stimulating electricity electrically on the earlobe with certain frequencies. They're lower frequencies, but we do use harmonics of the Schumann resonance. This is 93.96 um, Hertz. This is the sonic slider to the 12th harmonic of the Schumann resonance. So I'm gonna use that on the bottom earlobes here to help stimulate hypothetically, vagus nerve. And then we're gonna finally go along the collarbone here. This is where everything drains. Also might be a good idea just to work any tension that might be along this neck area, just so we have a clear pathway to release any built up fluid that we're pushing out here. And then in the center. And over the sternum for good measure. So you can do this manually with your hands. I like to do it with one of my forks. I hope this was helpful for you and uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you.